everyone, I thought I would come on today and show you how I store my jewellery making items. So in this little Ikea box I have my pliers, there's actually one missing because my husband keeps pinching them. And I'm holding this in my hand, so sorry if it's wobbly. Um, this little container here has three tiers on it and it was from the range. And I store all of my findings in here. So I've got my sterling silver there, some silver. It's not the best because these little pieces in the middle sometimes come up. But I'm going to keep using it for now. Because I don't really want to spend any more money on storage at the moment. Um, so I just try and keep it as flat as possible. I've got some different style earring clasps in here so the post ones and I can't remember what they're called they're not hooks they're like um, I think they're called lobster glasses and then in here I've got some um, lobster glasses for necklaces and then I've got the gunmetal on that side and then the next one down is my flathead pins and my loop head pins which I've just run out of almost and then this next one has all of my um, book rings, key rings, um, it's got these pieces that you mount beads onto, some brooch clasps, um, a hair clip pin for mounting flowers onto some spare wire, these combs for making wedding veils, a little bit of wire and some cords and elastics and then just some odd coloured jump rings in different sizes that didn't go in the top and these just clip closed on the sides like that so you can pick the whole thing up at once. And the other thing I have is this tray here and I like this because I can, when it's not so full I can flick through it, um, but I've just had a bit of a clean out and these are things that I'm going to use up soon so I've just put them here. So I've got a couple of extra beads but this is mostly going to be bead caps. Then I've got the Tim Holtz fragments, the clear ones. I've got some little pieces I've made out of CDs that I've melted. Um, I've got some clear thread. These are broken bits of jewellery that I might repurpose. These are all bags of different um, chains. I've got my elastic cords and my hemp cords and my wax coated cord. I do have some faux leather cord as well and a few more clear strings in there. And at the moment I've got some overflow letter beads in here, but once those are used up, this will just be for cords and chains and bead caps. And then this is what I just got in the Black Friday sale from Hobbycraft, and it cost me £12. And it has all of these boxes in. I was so happy to find these in England. They're really hard to source and they're really expensive. So £12 for all of these was an absolute bargain and it comes in the case which is great. And this case actually fits in my Expedit which I wasn't expecting. I have to put it in sideways but that was great. So I have these in rainbow order and then on this side um, I needed a white, a clear, silver, grey and... Um, I decided to make this blue green and that blue just to separate them out because they don't always go together um, but as you can see my favorite colors are black purple and pink because I have two boxes of those and if I just take one out so you can see inside they are all stored in individual baggies and sometimes I put large charms in but for the most part they're just beads and I've got some in these little pots as well. Just whatever I had them in, I used 
I don't like buying storage if I don't have to. So yeah, that's how I sort all of my bees and they're all exactly the same, um, except for in different colours. Apart from this one, if they come in like strings of beads, like if you look at the bottom, I had a string of these um, skull beads so I just left them on the string. Okay, so that's my jewellery storage and how I used to store them was in these trays here. Excuse my rubber band ball, I was playing with that earlier. <laughs> it's, really, it's really therapeutic to squish it. Anyway, um, yeah, so I used to, st I still store some of my charms and stuff in here, like my metal pieces and broken bits that I just stick onto cards or whatever. But um, I used to store my beads in here and I used to store them, I think it was too, too high and I had four of them in these drawers here. They fit too high and there was a little bit of room down the side which was great. But they got too heavy for me to lift. I mean this thing here is really heavy but once I've got it out I only have to lift out each individual box so it's a lot easier and if I drop it it's all closed whereas this I would drop all the time and because it, it was open they would just go everywhere so um there's a couple of options there for you you could store them in baggies in there but then they didn't stack on top of each other so it's up to you really what works for you i tend to put things in here that i just want to grab and use because i want to use them up because i've had them for ages and there's wood with veneers in that one so yeah that's a quick peek on how i store my jewelry making items i hope you enjoyed that and if you've got any questions Leave me a comment in the box below and I will try and do my best to answer them. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!